Grade 3 math number 81, fractions in size order. All right, we are going to put fractions in order from small to large. This box is split into thirds, this one's split into halves, one-fourths, one-fifths, and one-eighths. Now what do you notice about these boxes and the number at the bottom compared to the size of the boxes? The bigger the number is at the bottom, the smaller the pieces. Remember I told you about that in the previous video. The larger the denominator, this bottom part, then the smaller the pieces are broken up into. Okay? Let's look at this. A half is this whole area here where an eighth is just this little tiny area. So even though it's got a much bigger number on the bottom than this half, the half is bigger. So the littler the denominator, the bigger the piece. The smaller, the larger the denominator, the smaller the piece. See? All the way around. So let's take a look at this. Keeping that in mind, we're going to go from the littlest piece to the biggest piece. So one-eighth is the first one. I started you off. What would be the next biggest piece? Look at the denominators. The next biggest piece, because we're going from small to the largest piece on this side, would be one-fifth. It's the next biggest, it's the next number from eight counting down. See? So in order for a fraction to go from small to large, these numbers need to go from large to small into smaller broken up pieces. See? What would be the next fraction? We did eighth, we did fifth. What would be the next piece? that would get us to go to the biggest piece. Well, we don't need to do it in order. We can just look at this and say, which of these has the biggest pieces? The half does. So we know that's going to go over here. And one thing people don't understand in, in doing math or doing homework is you don't need to do it in order unless your teacher is watching you telling you to do it in order. If it's on a piece of paper like this and you know that the half is the last one, go ahead and put that one in. Get it out of the way. So we know that we did this one, we did this one, and we did this one. These are the only two left, and we need to put them in order from small to large. So if this one is the largest one, what's the next largest one that goes here, or the one that goes here? Can you figure it out? The one that goes here is going to be the fourths. So that means the only one that's left is that one, so that one's a third. As the fractions got larger, see, the portions got larger, the number, the denominator, got smaller. See that? Now let's take a look at these. Now we're going to go, from here we went from small to large, now we're going to go from large, the big one, to the littlest amount. Seven-eighths is the biggest fraction here. Okay? Seven eighths is done. Seven eighths means here's the eighths. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means it goes all the way up to here. All these are filled in. That's seven eighths. It's almost the whole thing, isn't it? So that's the biggest one. What would be the next smallest? Would it be three eighths? One, two, three. That's right. That's this amount here. Would it be one-fourth? That's this amount here. One-half is all of this. Or four-fifths? One, two, three, four. That would be all of these. What would be the next smallest? It would be the four-fifths. Because seven-eighths took us to here. See? Four-fifths takes us to here. One, two, three, four. So it's just a smidge smaller than seven eighths. See that? Okay, so now four fifths is done. Which one of these would be the next smallest from four fifths? Three eighths, one fourth, or one half? Three eighths, that's these three, one fourth, or one half? Remember, we're going from large to small. Well, which one's the smallest? Three-eighths, one-fourth, or one-half? 
one fourth is the smallest. So let's put it at the end because we know we can do that to get it out of the way. So now we have to figure out which ones go here and which ones go there. All right. So we're going from large to small. We have three eighths and one half. Three eighths is this much and half is this much. Which one's smaller? Three eighths, one, two, three, or a half? Yeah, three eighths is smaller. So that's going to go over here because we're going from large to small. That's done. And guess what? The only one that's left is a half. So that's got to go here, right? Process of elimination. So seven eighths is the biggest. That goes all the way, all of these. Then four fifths. It goes all of these. Then half. That's this. Then three eighths. That's this little bit. And then one fourth is the smallest. See, we went from large to small. Now, Let's see how you can do on this one. Which fraction is less than three-fourths? All right, so here's three-fourths. Okay, it comes one-fourth, one-fourth, and one-fourth. Is half smaller than three-fourths? Where would half of this rectangle be? Would it be here? Here's half, and here's half, right? Is that smaller than three-fourths right here? Is that smaller than here? Yeah, it is. Okay. Is one-fourth smaller than three-fourths? Here's one-fourth, and here's three-fourths. Yeah, one-fourth is smaller. How about four-fourths? Is four-fourths smaller, less than three-fourths? One, two, three, four. That would be the whole thing. That's not smaller, is it? No. How about two eighths? Oh my goodness, we've got fourths. How do we know eighths? Well, all you have to do is split a fourth in half. Each one of these is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two of them would be right there. It would be the same as one fourth, wouldn't it? So two fourths is equal, I mean two eighths is equal to one fourth. Is that smaller than three fourths? Yes, it is. How about two fourths? Is two sm fourths smaller than three fourths? One, two. That brings you right here. Yeah, that's smaller than the three, isn't it? How about one third? Hmm. All right. Well, let's make a box and let's break it up into thirds. Each one of these is a third. Is one third smaller than three fourths? Here's one third. Yeah, it is. How about one eighth? Remember this one on top is eighths. This little piece right here would be an eighth. Is one eighth smaller than this three fourths? Yep, it sure is. So these fractions are all smaller, less than three fourths. This one was equal to one fourth. See? So that's putting fractions in size order. You need to remember that when the denominator is huge or big, the pieces are little. When the denominator is small, like a two, the pieces are bigger. Keep that in mind, and I'll see you next video. And don't forget, if my videos are helpful and you like them, please share them with your friends. See you next time.